Oh, that is not a happy water pump. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I bought a car, and what a car it is. A 1999 BMW 750L that's been sitting in this very spot since 2014. It has 300,000 kilometers, and the seller told me that it hasn't been driven or started in the last five years. He also told me that it has a coolant leak, but it was running and driving when parked. This bucket of magnificence is a proper luxury BMW of the 90s, albeit a rusty one. The doors are extra crispy for your entertainment. They used just a tiny bit of filler here, just a tiny bit. We have a bit more rust here and here. The other side is a perfect match, naturally. We are not stopping there, no, no, no. I think that's enough for now. This will be an organ donor for my 7 series. I purchased it mainly because it had three things that I wanted. Rear quarter sun blinds. Shadow line window trim and black door trim. However, I'm not going to part out this car. That would be simply sad, but I am going to rate it for parts. Basically, I will be taking off the parts that I need and swap them with the parts from my 750. Once I'm done, I'll get rid of it and maybe it finds home with someone who doesn't mind rust as much as I do. After all, it is a Cosmo Schwartz facelift E38 that even has a fully stamped service book up until 2013. And here's how that looks. The last service was done in 2013 at 283,000 kilometers. And here you can see that the car was deregistered in October of 2014. First things first, I want to make this car run and drive. The brakes look like the rest of the car rusty, but we'll see how that goes later. I'm not going to pamper it too much. First I'll turn the engine by hand and make sure it spins freely, which it does, hopefully. Then change oil and filter, put fresh gas and batteries in it and try to start it. The dipstick is not dry, but the oil is on the minimum. There's barely something touching the bottom of the dipstick. Now to remove the fan clutch. Oh, that is not a happy water pump. Did it or did it slip? Oh, it's removed. Phenomenal. I really thought it was gonna give me more trouble than this. It's fan clutch, original, 98. So the engine is spinning freely. This is bone dry, so I'm gonna have some water. So I have successfully forgotten my floor jack. But I wanted to have a quick peek underneath, so I used the factory supplied one. So, there we go. Ooh, the brakes let go. Phenomenal. Look at that, Jesus, look how rusty that is, but at least it's not stuck. That drain bowl looks really, really rusty. All right, this is way too sketchy. I'm going to need to go and get my floor jack. All right. That was, wasn't too bad. This filter is really dry. Have a new one here.
Then I put back the drain plug and lower the car to the ground. Alright. Time for oil. Let's see how this works. That's good enough. Goes the filter. Now to add oil here. What happens when you play with stupid attachments? The engine is well lubricated now from the inside and the outside. Adding go go juice. Time for new batteries. Con los baterías. All right, the battery is in. Now it's time to give it a world. Look at that! It is working! That is actually not a terrible idle. Pretty decent, given that it's sitting for five years. Just proves my claim that these are really robust engines, like pretty much everyone knows. Now let's see if I can drive it. Cool wasser proofing. That actually sounds really nice. Let's see if it'll go through here. Is it? Oh, it's moving. It's moving. <laughs> Brakes are terrible. Isn't that a marvelous sight? Sounds absolutely beautiful now. Three hundred thousand kilometers. All right, let's see if we'll restart now. Uh, 12 cylinder, yeah, yeah, and an Altes motor. Double six, yeah, five twelve. <laughs> it stayed here for five years. Yeah. What a machine it is! Time to go home. I just found out that it has hydraulic trunk. That's really rare in the E38. That 
that is really cool. We're back in HQ and the Crispy E38 will be sleeping next to another V12. This 850i six-speed manual is a new arrival as well. I bought it in Spain about a week ago. Garage fine, non-runner and has been off the road since around 2010. Our revival series on this car will be coming up soon. As far as the Crispy 750L goes, I'll make sure that it stays a runner, swap out the parts that I need and possibly fix that massive coolant leak. Thanks for watching.